So, what should believers do with science? During this election, everyone's talking about who is paying attention to the science and who needs to follow the science. And Paul addresses this in Colossians 2, in both verses 8 and verse 20. He uses a phrase in the original Greek, which can be translated, beginning principles of the cosmos, or the order of creation, and those things we see when we look at creation. In other words, empirical observed scientific fact. Now, here's the problem. Facts don't have any meaning. Facts are just there. You measure something and it's eight inches long. You weigh something and it weighs 45 pounds. We observe things. There's a certain amount of light coming through the sky right now. Observation, empirical observation, is what science is all about. Unfortunately, facts don't mean anything. There's no should, there's no could, there's no good, there is no ought to, there's no better, there's no best, there's just facts. And facts need narration or story to make meaning out of them. And that story, by its very nature, isn't factual, it's interpretation. And so Paul says here don't get all locked up and over focused on observation of the universe. Now we want to observe the universe. All truth is God's truth, and if something is true in nature, it's true, just as true as it's true in the Bible. So two and two is four. It's just as true as John 3.16. Truth is truth. Things are either true or they're not. They can't be partially true or kind of true or almost true. They're either true or they're not. The challenge here is that Paul understands that the fundamental elements of the universe, he calls them elemental spirits or elemental principles. A better translation is elemental principles of the cosmos, the order. Cosmos is the Greek word, the positive word for the world. And it's the beautiful order of creation. What we don't want to get caught up in, however, is anything that science does to take us away from the fundamental fact that the spiritual and the physical come together. And that's what the teaching of the kingdom is all about. That's what Jesus Christ symbolizes, the, where the spiritual and the physical come together, true God and true man. And to understand that we are spiritual beings living in a physical world. And we have this magnificent, almost magical consciousness that you're paying attention to this video with. And it is just a fantastic, fantastic thing to be able to see and to interpret and to write narrative and story around things. The truth is your life is full of facts. You were born on a certain minute, on a certain day, in a certain year, in a certain place. That's a fact. You moved to different places as you went along. You started work, you started school, you finished work, you finished school, those kinds of things. All these different things happened. The key is what story, what narrative are you going to write around that that is faithful to the facts? And the most faithful story is the fact that we are fantastically spiritual in our nature and that Jesus Christ leads us in the most fantastic, wonderful way of interpreting the facts. Jesus Christ is like the key to understanding and making sense of the facts. And the Christian faith is really a fantastic, I keep using that word fantastic, but it really fits this passage, life hack. It's the best way to understand what we are doing here. So I would encourage you to read the Bible every day with us and follow us and subscribe to this YouTube channel, The Well at Surf City, and just hit the, hit the notifications button, pass these links on to other people, because we want to spread the good news that we have purpose here. And there is such a thing as a good, true, and beautiful, and that there is a narration, the good news, which is a narration, a story, the old, old story we used to sing about growing up which musically almost brings together all of these meaningless facts and brings them into a meaningful life. I want to live a meaningful life. I want to be able to tell a story about my life in a way that it means something. And I want that story to be faithful to the facts of my life. And I want the same for you. And I see people out there lost who don't have uh, an overarching narrative about where they belong in this great story. 
So I just want to invite you to read the great story of the Bible with me every single day, and we'll continue to interpret it. Today we're interpreting that very mysterious phrase, elemental spirits, elemental principles of the cosmos, of the creation. And we will continue to interpret and bring your story into the great story. And that story is a story which has no end. It goes on forever. Let's enjoy the journey on that story, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow.